Uh, can you kind of tell me like what uh, what is your sound compared to the rest? So my sound is basically based off. Um, I feel like all the essentials of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, the harmonies, the sonics, and sometimes it's the up up to date production. Sometimes it's you know a little more alternative. Um, I like to say I take the alternative route a lot more often, you know, on beats that are typically made for rap, I might sing, and uh, beats made to sing, I might rap, you know what I'm saying? I like to just push the boundaries and break what the rules we used to are. So are you kind of, are you kind of open to stepping over another genre, or are you uh, solely just kind of want to stay in kind of like the hip-hop hip -hop realm? I'm definitely open. I feel like uh, my style and craft is basically like a hybrid combination of a couple of different genres, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mainly just like soul, rap, and hip hop, um, kind of like a punk rock spirit to it. And um, that right there is pretty much the essentials to what I, I focus on when I create. Do you think that uh, kind of you changed uh, as far as like progression or whatnot, as far as like the music you used to make like a couple years ago compared to now? Or? Definitely. Um, I feel like I'm living more of a life now than I was when I first started. I was kind of still in this between stage of my mom's place and like really living life. And um, I just, me personally, I don't think the story of the kid in his mom's house is as interesting as the kid uh, trying to find himself out in the real world, you know. So it kind of wasn't inspiring me to do as, as much as I do now for my craft. and the type of songs I can write now where I can actually tell stories because I'm all about truth. Like, I'll never tell a story that I haven't lived or heard somebody else live and I'll never portray a character that I don't really have within myself, you know what I'm saying? So I've always been kind of waiting for the real, real life inspiration to come to me to uh, make the best art. What kind, what, kind of, what kind of inspires you on a, on a daily basis to just keep going as far as like the music and whatnot because it can get tough um, as far as like making music? Um, you know, I'm just kind of like, this has always been like one of the only visions for me. And, uh, and it's like the only way I've ever been able to process life the best way, you know, like I, I was diagnosed with a processing disability. So when I look at things like art and crafts that come to me easy, I just always focus on that in general. So, um, when it comes to me, what was the question again? I'm trying to answer it the best. Oh, way. As, as far as far as like kind of uh, what it's kind of brought you to kind of this point or whatnot, and right. kind of if, more or less if you kind of change on a day to day basis, kind of inspiration wise. Right. Uh, it's basically been like a 50% me, uh, me like a personal journey that I'm on, and 50% the people around me um, because others around me, their reactions always matter to me more than almost myself, you know, and they kind of inspired me to make the best. And like I said, I was uh, freestyling a lot and just rapping for my friends and peers a lot when I was early on doing things. And that inspired my style, inspired my rap name, inspired, uh, you know, me to just keep going forward with it, you know, because uh, I'm interested in acting and film as well. But, you know, music is an aspect that's come to me on a level that I can't really explain. So I just felt like I should chase it more. It's something that seems like almost ancestral, like a past life thing. So uh, it's something that I've been way more on the chase for. And uh, what, as, as far as like, what are your uh, kind of like plans for the next uh, couple of years or whatnot, as far as like music or what? Do you plan on kind of like changing, uh, kind of switching up styles? Or do you think you should just kind of keep going? What you're doing? Um, yeah, so like, I mean, pretty much each project, I have projects pretty much planned out, you know, with different concepts and um, topics to speak on. And so some sound, some projects I want more based off of uh, one of my attributes, like some I might rap more on and do less singing, and some I might sing more on, you know, just do like a full, full sing uh, compilation. But I'm aiming to do more like live instrumentation, you know, in the future to kind of just help me like break down the barriers of like the simp the the more formatted music we're used to where you know where the hook is coming you know where the bass line is going to hit you know i'm trying to really get into the uh the science of music and meet with people that actually create sound and are into the instruments because uh, i'm somewhat of a producer i'd say i'm more of a beat maker at this point in my in my uh production uh skill set and um, I'm just trying to be more into the production-wise uh, aspect so that it can help me kind of 
just leave the genre, like you said, uh, kind of leave the genre behind and just have a hybrid of more more genres included. Gotcha. You think it's important to have people around you that are like are critically honest as far as like music or whatnot, telling you kind of what goes, what sounds good and what's not. Yeah, a lot of the people around me are very opinionated and they um, they respect a certain level of art like myself, you know. I keep them around me because it's somewhat hard to please, you know. They they keep up with shit, so you got to keep them on their toes in order to kind of keep them interested or get the best review. Mm. And uh, I, I like the best review, so I pretty much go there, you know what I'm saying. I know what my strong point is and I try to execute, you know, I don't try to go against the grain too much you know whatever pleases the people around me I pretty much give that to them you know uh, so as far as like uh, kind of the goal of uh, the whole music industry like what's kind of some of your goals that you kind of set out to uh, accomplish I'm um, definitely looking into just breaking barriers I want to remain as independent as possible create my leverage and uh, any deals or part or, or you know major corporations that come my way I want to have the power to basically just do partnerships and not be working for anybody as much as a lot of artists are doing you know i'm looking forward to crossing the barrier of film and music i want to make musicals more up to date you know what i'm saying in the future because that's what i'm into i want to create a musical that the modern day world can kind of attach themselves into you know what i'm saying change kind of the uh theater experience for people where i feel like there's Definitely genres of music that haven't been displayed on a theatrical uh, level yet and uh, stories that haven't been displayed in certain genres of music. So I want to definitely help break those barriers in the future once I get more into the film industry. Do you think it's something that kind of uh, people haven't set out to do it or is it just something that kind of people look away from as far as like for the music, like the musicals for like the genre of music? I think it's something people haven't set out to do. I think it's something that people haven't set out to do uh, simply because of certain barriers, you know, that um, that have been built for people to deal with in society. There's been barriers, and you know, we are breaking breaking them as a people and as a, as a society. Things are changing, so I feel like in the future I'll be able to convey, uh, portray certain um, p uh, pieces of craft that can happen now that wouldn't necessarily be able to hap happen back then. You know, it's a lot of film and movies that are coming out now that I don't think would have been passed by the powers that be in the past, you know, and that's just because things are slowly changing and barriers are slowly being broken. So, you know, by the time I have the amount of power that I want, you know, certain projects will be accepted in the mainstream world, you know. And uh, on the last note, um, what are kind of uh, your your biggest uh, key, like things, lessons that you learned and that? It kind of brought you here to this point and what stuff do you think you still need to grow kind of move forward a lot of lessons i've learned is uh you know who to listen to how to decipher information you know what i'm saying a lot of messages are underlying in this in this world we live in and you kind of i thought i was woke before but you know you got to really be on your toes with a lot of information and kind of keep a routine that you know is best for you you know what i'm saying um Whereas before I was living a life that wasn't as planned, it wasn't on such a routine and I would always get random answers. But, you know, once you find your routine and, you know, basically make a life like an athlete would, you know, you come up with a disciplined route or a day by day thing, you know, that helps you and your craft to evolve. So that's basically uh, something I've picked up on a lot.